All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.1, problem number 11. All right, so we have a function uh, involving the absolute value sign, and we want to uh, uh, evaluate the limit. All right, remember that the absolute value, absolute value sign is really a piecewise defined function, so we have to treat it like one. All right, so here, all right, so we have this function, and uh, we are approaching uh, one, uh, from the right. So so this is a uh, part A. All right. So that means that the X is going to be something bigger than one. And you notice that uh, in that case here, this function is simply the same thing as without the absolute value sign, because X minus one is always going to be positive, which means that the absolute value sign uh, does absolutely nothing. All right, so this is going to be uh, x minus 1 over x minus 1, which is actually 1, right? Because we can cancel common factor on top and bottom, you know, you get 1. All right, so if you take the limit as x approaches uh, 1 from the right, the function is actually 1, all right? And uh, if you want to kind of see how, what it looks like, it's going to actually look like this. All right, here's the uh, x-axis, and here's the uh, y-axis. All right, and up to 1, so I'll just put 1 here. All right, the value is going to be always 1. So here is 1. All right, so uh, let's see. So you're going to put, uh, so I'm going to put a circle here. And the value is 1. So it looks like that. All right? So I'll just uh, put the dot there. Here. All right. So if you approach uh, from the right, right, it's, it's always 1. So limit is going to be the tendency is stay at 1. All right. So let's type it in. All right. So right hand limit is going to be 1. All right. Check the answer. We got that. All right. And uh, uh, part B is the left-hand limit. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so I guess I have to write that down, part B. So we are going to do the left-hand limit. So X is approaches 1 from the left. All right. So if you're com coming from the left, uh, X is going to be smaller than 1, which means that uh, here, F of X... Uh, which has the absolute value sign on top, right? Here, absolute value sign does something because uh, x is less than 1, which means that the x minus 1 is going to be a negative quantity. So it's going to turn that into a positive quantity of the same magnitude. So it's going to be, uh, so it's the same magnitude, but the negative sign to make it positive because x minus 1 is positive. So by putting an extra negative sign, turn it into positive. All right, denominator is still the same, x minus 1. And again, uh, we can cancel those guys out. Then you're getting a negative 1, right? Which means that uh, in a picture, uh, if you're coming from the left, it actually takes the value of negative 1 all the way up to uh, when x equals 1, right? So it's going to look like that, all right? When x is exactly equal to 1, function is not defined because it makes the denominator equal to 0, right? Because you have a 1 minus 1. All right, here's a picture. But uh, if you do the tendency from the left, so limit from the left, it's, it's negative 1, so it's constant, so the limit is going to be exactly the same number, negative 1. All right, so let's uh, put it in. We have uh, negative 1. Check the answer. We got that. All right, then the next question, uh, C, should be very easy to answer because if you're coming from the right, you're going to get 1. If you're coming from the left, you're going to get negative 1. So they do not give you the same value. Therefore, the both sided limit uh, is going to be does not exist. I guess D and E. All right, and check the answer. All right, whoa. Oh, actually, sorry. There's a, there's a choice, <laughs> so I should have chosen B. Sorry about that. So check the answer. We got that. All right, and then uh, part D, 
the uh, select the quick choice f of one. All right. So remember, uh, since one makes the denominator equal to zero, which means that the function doesn't make any sense when you when you have x equals one, and so answer is part b. It does uh, f of one does not exist. All right. Check the answer. Got that. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.